I change this into this and I'm going to do it. Okay, so basically I fork one of the most popular plugins for Unreal Engine for serial communication. And the reason is the last time that it was updated was almost two years ago. And by default for 427, it will work. If you're lucky to have all the SDKs, it will recompile, but if you don't have some of the SDK that you need, this plugin is not gonna work. And literally the, the library stuff being maintained, some people don't realize how much this uh, plugin is needed. I need a lot. So we're gonna do everything that we're doing here, actually, all the motion control, we're gonna do it through this library. And because I already have the plan to do this kind of library, but why not? We just take a library that needs to be updated. And at the same time, I can start putting more things I actually need for this library. So kill two birds in one shot and I fork the project. So technically it's not going to be the UE4 Duino library because I changed all the function names and the actually identifier of the plugin. So for two reasons. One, if uh, Rodrigo Villani decides to keep working on the plugin, he can do it. There's not going to be a conflict with this uh, plugin. Okay. And the second reason is that the name of the plugin is, is pretty confusing because people don't understand exactly what this plugin do. It's attached to the concept of Arduino, but it's just a serial communication library. It doesn't have anything special to do with Arduino at all. It's just connect through the serial port. But the serial port covers so many things. So I thought to make it just more clear what this uh, library is. This is a communication tool to communicate through the serial port. Now, before I go any further, I want to thank Grizzly32, is the original contributor to this plugin, and Rodrigo Villani, who actually was uh, maintaining this library for, for a long time. He added a lot of stuff too. So I want to thank both for everything what they did with this library for the year. Uh, this is a fork. Again, you guys can continue that uh, path with that library. I'm taking a different route. I really need this library and that's why I just took over this fork. I'm not taking over the UE for the UE. I'm renaming the library and taking a new path. Let's put it that way. So, okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your folder project where you have your uh, project and you're going to create a new plugins. Okay, don't forget the S folder, plugins folder. And you go to your downloads, copy this folder, and you go inside plugins, paste it. I'm going to go inside the plugins folder. There is a blueprint folder. I'm going to copy this U asset. That's a blueprint that we're going to use as example. So we go to the content folder of your project and you just paste it over there. And once you put the plugins here and, and your blueprint here, you can go back and restart the project. Okay, if everything goes right, not all the Unreal Engine versions uh, accept this method. Of, I think uh, Unreal 5, you have to go from here, from your content, and boop, drop it there. 427 works really simple. You just uh, copy something, it's gonna appear right away. What is not gonna appear right away is the plugin, so you have to restart in order to do that. So you search for uh, com, and here at the top, is a communication serial port, serial com for short, okay? It's enable because I already put enable so you don't have to restart. I forgot about that, yeah. So you don't have to restart. Yeah, it's ready to go. So all you have to do is uh, drop it, boop, and you don't go to edit right here. What do we have here? These are the two new functions with flow control. By default, you just leave it like that. It's gonna work either way, this one or this one is gonna be the same. The only difference is that uh, you can activate this later. We should do a tutorial on flow control, but so what we have so far, it's uh, this is one of the most important is uh, to close the serial port. I'm gonna show you later. Flash is gonna flash all the whatever is on the buffer. And this is how you start with the serial port. And these are the same. The only difference here is that you can put a different target. And this is exactly what it says it is. To so get serial port, get a serial baud rate. Uh, the serial port is open, that we're gonna use it a lot. Serial print, to print a string, print a string with a line. So you don't have to put it in. This is where you, you can do a uh, custom uh, line endings. Serial write a byte or write bytes. 
And this is for reading, reading uh, by the reading flow serial read line uh, that is uh, accepts everything and the line is ignored or basically that's where you finish your reading. Serial read string, which is, is going to read a string like this. These are conversions, uh, zero byte to float, zero byte to int, zero float to byte, zero int to byte. There is one suggestion that was really interesting suggesting I totally agree and, and I'm going to make it. It's um, hex to byte, make a hex uh, value convert into byte. That's really needed. I'm going to do it. So, and this is the example. Okay. So in my case, I know that is serial port three. I'm going to leave an uh, 9600. This is serial port open. And if it's PC, it's not going to connect. On our screen, it's going to tell you that uh, the port is not connected. Here, we're going to save this output, the value, which is uh, the serial port information. Uh, we're going to flash all the all the buffer, and we're going to start working. And we're going to print on the serial that uh, everything is working right now. And this is probably the most important thing that you have to make on this kind of projects on the event and play which is every time you close the project or terminate the, the program it's going to do this before it terminates the project which is close the serial port this is very important otherwise when you reconnect the port is going to be still open and you're not going to be able to reconnect because it's a new session as a new session you won't be able to do it. you you know i just have an idea if you want to and this is for live link has the same problem and i think 90 percent of the problem with live link is that you don't close your ports uh, when you close uh, live link. What I'm thinking is another good way to do this uh, is to save this information to a file and you can reconnect. I mean, food for thought for live link. And we can do the same here. Anyway, thinking too much. Okay, so, oh, by the way, so I did this at the beginning on this uh, just to enable inputs for the player controller. So we can start doing this. We can use Q for closing the port and message through the string that the port is terminated. Spacebar is gonna print string, but it's going to check if the serial port is connected and if it's not connected it's going to tell you if the port is closed it won't be able to print the string through the buffer because you have no connection but it's going to be able to tell you in the game that the port is closed the third step that we do is to reopen the port in case that you want to connect or reconnect i just want to show you a way to do this without having to restart the project the only thing that we do is we check if the port is already open so we don't reconnect that could be a problem so if it's open we're not going to go through and we're going to tell no the port is already open and if it's not open we are going to connect again and we're going to send information through the serial uh, print line that we're connected and we're going to print now i'm going to show you how this works okay so i have my arduino connected okay so it's ready to go if you're not sending data to arduino you know it's that there's not going to be any conflict anyway first let me check if it's working just connect it in Okay, it says port is initialized. Yeah, no, you have to go inside the window. So it's opening. And you can see the space or space of data, right? Okay, so I'm using this uh, serial port monitor. This is a demo version, so it's gonna work anyway. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna sniff. This is what we're doing right now. Because this is information that you never see, and I love this software for showing you all this is really good for debugging uh, your serial communication okay i just want to have a good view there you go. okay boom connecting and look at all the information that you have on your serial, serial communication and that happens internally okay. so when we have this immediately we have we're connected and also at the same time we have the port is initialized so let me start playing with this press now you're going to see some delay, but that's the software, that's not a real delay. If I do this, I'm going to get out, but it's okay. Your microcontroller is going to, your microcontroller or anything connected is going to receive. It's going to be like exactly like this. This is what you're going to receive. I should use uh, Unreal Engine 5 actually for this demo because I can, I can I can actually do everything outside the window. Uh, I don't have to get inside the window, but it's okay, whatever. Uh, so we're connected again. You get this uh, confirmation that we're connected. Oh, by the way, do you see this closing port? That happened when I do this, look at this, boom. The program was terminated by the use closing port. So that happened right here, here. 
okay so that happened no matter what when you when you press the stop uh, button or you quit the game uh, it's going to go through this part of the blueprint which is very important for you because look what happens if i disconnect this i'm going to recompile i'm going to play okay we're connected 99 percent of the problems uh, of people using uh, the old library had is that they don't do this if i let's say i i play Boom, boom, boom. It's, it's working, right? It's working, 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 working. And let's say I quit the game. And now let me play again. Oop. What it says here? Port is not connected. Okay. And now solution. Let's do this, right? And reconnect. And let's try to reconnect with the C, right? That's it. But you have to do this. If you don't have that function, that won't happen. You don't have to touch your Arduino. You don't have to connect or reconnect. So very important. If something you want to take out of the, this tutorial, never forget to do this part. And the other thing is like, okay, again, it's, uh, you connect, uh, you quit. Okay, you quit, close the port, you reconnect. You can reconnect again. Okay, and still working. So that's exactly the right way to work this uh, plugin. Uh, initialize, uh, disconnect when, when you finish playing, okay? And you can connect or reconnect inside the game if you have to. You have the choice how to do it. So this is pretty much it. I just want to show you that the library works. Most of the 90% of the problems that I've seen on the comments on this old plugin is you can't connect again. The problem is you have to close the port. So that's the good practice with this library. What we're going to do in this uh, channel, we're going to connect the uh, DJI gimbal and we're going to control it from here from uh, Unreal Engine. We're going to do motion control. We're going to change focus and, and zoom and everything from Unreal Engine to the camera gimbal, also with the sliders. Everything's open source. You know, you can do whatever you want with this uh, project. That's pretty much it. And you know what to do. Just subscribe to the channel, uh, join the Discord server. It's a really good place to actually ask questions if you have any question about the plugin or about virtual production. I hope you do awesome things with this plugin. And without further ado, please join me to this uh, humble ceremony that we're going to do to rename this library. So trust me, it's going to be fun. Now that all the elements are complete on the real legend, you have the power to control reality from the virtual world. Arise and salute your brother and sisters. The f was that? Thank you.